What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cups through Sash. And everybody in between, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Do a do a do who. It's 3.33 a.m. 11.23 of 2022. Happy early, <clears throat> early turkey day. This is actually take two because the first time I clicked the camera on, I forgot the channel message. <clears throat> and we were just sitting here for like 45 seconds. So, um, I already clicked it back on, but I remembered it. So, I hope everybody will have a wonderful turkey day. I'm not talking too loud because I don't want to wake my roommate up. So, just let everybody know. Um, I'm going to look up angel number 333 because I heard 333 after I told you the time. So, and then we'll get started the reading. Okay. Angel number 333 holds powerful significance. This number is associated with femininity, femininity creativity, and intuition. So, Fem energy, whether you can be masculine in your fem or fem in your masculine. Um, or, I'm sorry, a masculine in your fem or a fem. Creativity, so wonderful creativity, creative juices. And intuition, so that little voice inside yourself that says do it or don't do it, basically. And picking up on things that other people can't pick up on, like ESP, um, that's, that, that type of thing. When you come across this angel number, think of it as a friendly love note to stop worrying so much. So maybe one of you guys is, um, maybe you're stressed out, you're worrying a lot, um, got a lot on your mind, what have you, what have you. But I did hear 333, so I think one of you guys might be a masculine in your fam, or just heavy in your heavy in your fam. Maybe your creativity is on point, or it's about to be, or creative explosion and intuition, so... Maybe your intuition's peaking or is about to peak about person, people, place, or situation. How that resonates and applies, okay? Really beautiful energy, just saying, just saying. Okay, so we'll get into the channeling. Um, so hopefully that's helped somebody with angel angel number 333 and me reading it out to you. Um, sorry, I just don't want to talk too loud. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> The channel message I received, of course, as always, only take the messages that resonate with the rest, okay? Very important. But the channeling I received was, um, someone is intentionally stealing your time. I heard intentionally blocking you. Intentionally. Um, I heard it's a masculine energy, by the way. It's masculine energy intentionally blocking you. Intentionally. Um. And I heard they are intentionally stealing your time. Now, we all know you can steal time, energy, and money. Those are three things you can steal from a person. Time, energy, and money. This person is stealing your time. But they're doing it by blocking you intentionally. So, like, sexist energy. And I'm just being for real. They're sexist. They're masculine. And I heard you're a femme. So, and that would make sense with the 333 with the femininity. Femme energy. Um, so, they're intentionally blocking your time them energy intentionally so but they're doing it by blockages out in the universe to keep you stuck and stagnant to waste your time but i heard through many shocking series of chain of events it's about to start speeding up for you in a huge ass way um and um it is about to give them a huge ass wake up call i heard they have already gotten a huge wake up call but they refuse i heard they've been seeing um the huge changes in their life in the universe and they refuse to give you your justice but through many series of chain events their ass is about to be in hot water so you plug it in how it resonates it is a masculine energy i did not hear a sign on him i i didn't hear a sign on you ma'am but he refuses to to give you your justice so you are do some kind of justice uh universal justice or information for legal justice or something however that resonates and applies but he refuses to give it to you because i think because you're a femme i think because you're a femme 
It has a lot to do with you being a feminine. He is very sexist. And he's pissed that you did not sleep with him in the past. Oh, whoa. Okay, it's coming out. He's coming out. Okay, so it has a lot to do with you being a feminine. It has a lot to do with you being a fem. If this resonates for you. I heard he's sexist. He's sexist. Um, and it has a lot to do with the fact that you would not sleep with him in the past. So if this resonates for you, your fem energy, and maybe he attempted to sleep with you or asked to sleep with you or tried to hit on you or something and you refused to hit you refused to um sleep with him and it pissed him off so now he's been blocking you i think by situations person people place or situations in the universe because you refused to sleep with him in the past and he was pissed he's still pissed about that apparently and he's and he refuses to give you some kind of justice so you or do some kind of justice universal justice or information for legal justice or something in the universe but he's pissed because of the past because you wouldn't sleep with him and whatever you wouldn't be his little um rag doll basically um so he's been uh wasting your time stealing your time but soon justice is about to come for his ass um hopefully in the form of the justice system just saying just saying i didn't hear it was but it could be universal justice for all we know, but serves him right. I'm just saying. Serves him freaking right. His sex is ass. And that's just the truth because, listen, I'm not a feminine. Oh, uh, what do you call it? I'm not a feminist. You know, the feminists that think women are above men and control and dominate the men and whatever, whatever. Just like mas masculines can be like that too. But the thing is, is it shouldn't be like that. Equal, equal rights, equal freedoms, equal liberties, if anybody needs to hear that. <clears throat> and that's just the truth. But whoever this masculine is, he's all pissed because you wouldn't sleep with him in the past. He apparently has all these um, issues, these um, underlying issues, and um, he won't let it go. He won't let it go. So now... I'm assuming he cannot steal your money or your energy. So now he wants to steal your time. This is terrible by keeping you stuck. But the energy is about to boomerang back upon him. It's about to boomerang back upon him in a huge way. He's about to ever regret the past. Ever regret it. Okay. I heard the energy is about to boomerang back upon him in a huge way. He's about to ever regret it. The past. Ever regret it. So whatever the past is for him. Um, and you, ma'am, um, I'm not sure everybody's situation and story is different, but whatever the past is for you and him, I can tell you some of the past is you wouldn't sleep with him and it pissed him off. I'll tell you that. And now he wants to, he's intentionally blocking your time, I guess, cause he can't, he can't block your money or your energy right now. Um, he's very spiteful and malicious. I'll just tell you this straight up off the top. He's very spiteful and malicious and that's just a. He just needs to move on. And that's just damn truth. He just needs to move on. Hashtag live free if anybody needs to hear that. Um, I'm assuming you're not bothering him. So why the hell is he so fixated on you? I heard through many series of chain events, he's about to ever regret the past. So whatever the past is for him or you or whatever, whatever. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Uh, I'll pull some cards and see if I hear anything else. And then um, and then I think I'll do another collective reading here in a minute because I'm up, man. Like, I'm good. I'm up. I'm just chillaxing. Like, y'all know I've been having these um, nights. I've been worried about my kids. Um, this is not one of those nights. I mean, I still worry about my kids all the time, all the time. But, um, and even if I didn't think something weird was going on, I would still worry about them because that's just what a good mom does. Um, or, well, I don't. I don't know if a good mom does that, but that's what I do. And that's just the truth. But, um, but this is not one of those nights. I'm just up. Like, y'all know. Hell, I've been on here two and a half years. Even when I had my kids, I got channelings. And that's just the truth. So, just saying. You are very, 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 very loved.
very loved. He's trying to make it out like you're not. So many people love you, admire you, respect you. He is in your community. And he is, he is very spiteful and malicious because of the past. But through many series of chain events, he's about to be forced to let it go. Permanently. Okay, so you plug in with how it resonates. I was waiting to see if I heard anything else. Okay, so he lives in your community, ma'am. He lives in your community, and he's just, I heard he's very spiteful and malicious. Well, it's because you wouldn't sleep with him in the past. That's one of the reasons. Now, what are the other reasons are? Hell, I don't know. But I heard many people love you. Basically, a shit ton of people love you. But he doesn't want you to know that many people love you, and he doesn't want you to know you're very loved. He wants you to, he wants to keep you down and stuck and depressed and down and out, basically. He wants you mentally entrapped. Like mind games. But I heard it's about to backfire on him. It is about to backfire in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire in a huge way. And it should. It really, really should because um anybody ever heard the term love them and let them go? If you love them, let them go. That's why, a huge reason why I sent that text message to my kids that I posted on the community tab. Because as much as I love my kids and I invested about a decade of my single self into them, and they went, we were going beautiful places. We were going beautiful places, and that's just the truth. Um, and I don't regret not a minute that I invested my single self into them. Not at all. I'm still single. But am I out frolicking and whatever, whatever, whatever? No. Um, that's just not me. What who's me is raising my kids. And that's just the truth. And and being successful in my career. That's just who I am. But my point is, is this guy apparently is just latching on to it's like he's fixated on the damn past. He just needs to let it go. I heard a shit ton of people love you, but he doesn't want you to know that. He doesn't want you to know that, and he lives in your community. But he doesn't want you to know that because he wants to play the mental mind fuck games. He wants to keep waste your time. He wants to keep you mentally entrapped, depressed, down, Debbie Downer shit. If anybody needs to hear this, don't let anybody ever mess with your mental man. And that's just the truth. I don't care. Who he is, who she is, who they are. I don't care if they have a little penis, a big penis, a, um, if you're dating them, I'm so, if that's just dating, or if it's a family member, a co-worker, a community member, whoever, whoever, whoever. I mean, I don't care what the relate, like, who it is. A co-worker, uh, I said the little penis, big penis for relationships. If it's a co-worker, a relationship, a, um, family member, uh, whoever, whoever, don't, don't. That's why there's, I believe, the term love them, and if you really love them, let them go. This person doesn't love you, obviously, obviously. This person has some mental issues, and I'm just being serious. Oh my God, you can't make it up. Reflection, latching on to the past, but it's in this negative, like, it's like a, what's it, um, when you basically love to watch other people suffer. It's when you love to watch other people suffer. I don't know if that's masochism or sadism, but whichever one it is, it's the one where people internally love to watch people suffer. They love to watch other people not flourish, not do well. Talk about the woe is me. Talk about all the tower moments. And half the time, they're the ones causing them behind the scenes. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. Reflection. Someone is about to see this masculine energy in a completely different light. Completely different light. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, I heard someone's about to see this masculine energy in a completely different light. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. So good. Reflecting back on the past and 
hopefully seeing things for what it really is because this i mean he just needs to move the hell on um whoever you are ma'am i think you've been out of his energetic space for a while and i don't think you've had anything to do with him i mean it's not even like you gave in to him and you had sex with him and that's just the truth i mean damn he just there's like 7.77 billion people in the world why don't he just move the hell on and that's just true wake up crawler can't make this up man He is about to be severely investigated. Severely. It is about to embarrass the hell out of him, and it's not going to go well for him. He is about to be severely investigated, severely, and I heard it's not going to go well for him. That could be the wake-up call. He's going to need to ground himself and breathe. Oh, my God, yeah. And he's about to get a perspective change because his ass is about to get investigated. I heard he's about to get severely investigated and it's not going to go well for him. So whatever the crap is going on in this investigation, whatever transpired in the investigation or was about to transpire, it's not going to go well for him. Confirmation for my kitty. Um, how that resonates and applies. Uh, but he lives in your community and you're a femme energy and he's a masculine. Um, but... Like I said, I don't think he can steal your money or your energy. So now he wants to steal your time. And he has been by keeping you stuck. It's about to speed up for you in a huge way. Huge positive way. It's about to, oh, that's double confirmation. Okay, it's about to speed up for you in a huge positive way. So ma'am, just know it's about to speed up for you in a huge positive way. Um, This is se severe sexist energy. And that's just the truth. I mean, I hate it, but it's the truth. It's severe sexist energy, man. Um, if this person is in a relationship, if this masculine's in a relationship, I'm sure it's probably an abusive relationship. But I'm just being serious. Because the his views on women are terrible. And I'm just serious. Um, and I hate to say that, but I'm just being real. If he is, I didn't hear if he's in a relationship. But if he is, it's probably a very abusive one. And I'm sure he's the abuser. And I hate to say that, but I'm serious. You wouldn't, you've never been in a relationship with him. You wouldn't even sleep with him. You don't want nothing to do with him. So yet, he's still trying to affect your life and he is behind the scenes. So I couldn't imagine being in a relationship with this dude. And that's just the truth. All right, I love you guys so much. Hold on, let's see. Red hair, brown hair is very significant in this. Red hair and brown hair is very significant in this. Red hair and brown hair. Red hair and brown hair. So maybe you have red hair, ma'am, or he has red hair, or somebody in this situation has red hair um, and brown hair. Maybe you have brown hair, ma'am, he has brown hair, or somebody in this situation has brown hair. Red hair and brown hair is significant. Somebody in this situation has red hair or brown hair, whether it's you, him, or somebody else. Um, how that resonates and applies. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.